ball game. They were down, I believe, something like 17 points. Came back and won it, never looked back the rest of the season. Greg Robinson still coached it. He got highly upset, I believe, at Joe Burton. But he got Devon Collier up off the bench right away for the substitution. He has taken absolutely nothing for granted. Well, he's trying to do something he's not done in his tenure here at Oregon State, and that is beat the UCLA Bruins. Beavers have four players in double figures. Collier with 20, Cunningham with now 19. Starks has 13, Brandt had 13. He had 12 in the first half. It was really a factor. I guess it was Eric Moreland that uh, <laughs> Okay, Robinson still all into Moreland's ear on the sidelines. But again, just, just not taking anything. He's got 13 straight losses, never beaten UCLA. Craig Robinson since he's been here, it's within his grasp. He can taste it. UCLA got to get a quick shot up. Lamb, long tray. Off the back rim, but long misses make long rebounds. They get another chance here. But the line for the Beavers. Off the window, Travis Ware. Travis Ware. Uchin foul on Lamb, following Cunningham. Cunningham will go to the line with 22.8 ticks remaining. Beavers at the free throw line tonight, 23 of 29. Misses from Cunningham. It's still just a six-point game. I mean, you yeah. know, it's we're getting into to, to miracle working time for UCLA, but a little tougher now. Yeah. 21 in the game for Cunningham. Kyer will leave. Moreland will come back on. But you get that sense of urgency on the part of the Oregon State coaches. They're taking that for granted. David Grace, Doug Stewart, Nate Comedy, Craig Robinson, all up. Getting you guys to continue to focus on closing this thing out. Contested Trey and Powell gets to go. So it's not time to go home yet. It's a four-point game. I tell you, you stick around this game long enough and you see this kind of crazy stuff happens. Come up with a steal here. A couple of missed free throws. I saw USC win a game here when they were seven points out right in this building. They were seven points down. With, I want to say, 18 seconds to play, something like that. Won a game. There's Norman Powell off the, the loose ball pickup. Straight away banker for three. So, I mean, you know, those kinds of shots of all. And, you, 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 again, you just have to, for Oregon State, make sure you close this thing out properly. Roberto Nelson at the line now. And he misses. Cunningham, incidentally, 21 points in the game, but 16 of them coming here in the second half. Mod Starks also a nice second half. Making the difficult shots, a great all-around game for Devon Collier. State. One out of two for Nelson, 8.8 .8 seconds remaining. You gotta put, apply a little pressure so UCLA just can't you know, advance the ball down the court as quickly as they want to. But you, Got to be smart. You don't want to foul. Jeremy Anderson. The basket uncontested. Smartly so by the Bruins. David Ware. And that's going to do it. And Oregon State is going to win this game and beat the Bruins for the first time in 14 tries. They win it 87-84. And they had to hang on. But a very good win, and I thought a very well-played game, really, on both sides. The overall, the offense, I mean, you get, you know, both teams, Oregon State used to it, leading the conference in scoring at 83 points a game, but for UCLA, kind of, you know, un uncharted territory, and I thought they had a tough time. UCLA consistently scoring points here in the second half of this.